Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. In another iconic Black Gay Broadway moment, Michael James Scott helped bring Disney's magic to the Broadway stage. From 2014 to 2019, the seasoned stage actor would play the comical and all-powerful genie in the Broadway adaption of the musical Aladdin, which first became a smash hit as a cartoon at the movie theaters in 1992. Though most viewers today are most likely more familiar with the Disney movie and its 2019 remake, the original tale comes from the popular Middle Eastern folk tales, 1001 Nights, which is a collection of Arabic romance and adventure stories written, told, and retold throughout the Islamic Golden Era, specifically beginning in the 10th century AD. The Aladdin movie was the first film I ever saw in theaters and is still one of my favorite Disney movies, and I thoroughly enjoyed the remake starring Mena Musad as Aladdin and Will Smith as the genie. Robin Williams' original genie and Will Smith are such big shoes to fill, so it's comforting to know fans were astounded by Scott's portrayal as the genie in the live theatrical production. Michael James Scott made his Broadway debut in 2005 in the musical All Shook Up, and would continue to have major parts in productions like Tarzan and Mamma Mia. He would also have a starring role in the Jerry Springer Opera, performing at the prestigious Carnegie Hall. Scott played the genie in the original cast of the Aladdin production in Australia before eventually touring the show in the U.S. and on Broadway. In interviews with Playbill, Scott would detail how the fan mail he received from his gay and black fans, who felt seen by his representation in the role, was one of the best parts of being able to play the part. I definitely love how the 2019 remake of Aladdin and the Broadway production cast more black actors, which is more historically accurate of the medieval period of the old Middle East. The classical Muslim world was expansive, and many of these stories would have spread not just through the Middle East, but also to North Africa, which many forget was a part of the classic Muslim world in the Ottoman Empire, where these cultural stories would have been told. So it's perfectly fitting to have a fabulous black gay man play the genie, because undoubtedly black gay and queer men were present in these lands, which first told and treasured these stories.